This is Pamela Morgan for Flirting with Flavors, and I am here today with somebody that you know very well. And if you watched my previous video, you heard us talk about etiquette. And Luann <laughs> from the Housewives of New York was talking about class with the Countess, and we're gonna continue the conversation because so many people ask me all the time, what are the best gifts that you bring that you can bring to a host or hostess <clears throat> when you come to their home. And I think people are confused. They don't know what to bring. Do they bring a bottle of wine? Do they, what about flowers? Do you bring flowers to somebody? Right, I, you know, I, I love flowers. What woman doesn't like flowers? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, the only thing you wanna do when you do bring flowers is to put them in a vase yourself so that you know, the hostess doesn't have to look for one when you get there. So now, now she's got people coming and now she's got the flowers in her hand and now she's got to find the right size vase and, right. and, and then the she, might have, and she might have to cut the ends because they're too long for exactly. her vases, whatever. So I think if you're going to bring flowers, and I do, I've, you know, I have a cutting garden. So I, I bring some hydrangeas sometimes to my friends out in Long Island. Um, so I think that's always a nice gift. But put them in a vase and make them look pretty and then you just can plop them on the counter when you arrive and, and the hostess generally loves that. Scented candles are always um, a big um, plus. They, they Except for me because I'm allergic to perfume. <gasps> really? Uh -huh. Oh, now I know that. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know a lot of people that are allergic to perfumes. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so I actually get end the up perfume re regifting my scented candles. Oh, you do? <laughs> oh my gosh, you can always give them to me. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. <laughs> so what else? I mean, so you know, I think people what about love chocolate? champagne or chocolates, a bottle of wine, something think, that's packaged already that they don't have to do anything exactly, with, right? Exactly. And even you know, if you make a fabulous dessert, you know, you can always bring a fabulous mm -hmm. dessert. Um, it depends how personally you know the person and what they like. You know, if you know your hostess and you know she likes something in particular, how great is that to get one of the things that you love the most? For, it's the best. Isn't it? Yeah. All prepared, ready to go. And it's always so much more wonderful when you've made something yourself and then you bring it to somebody. I think too. I think yeah. so too. I think it's a really nice touch. You know, mm -hmm. you don't have to spend a lot of money. I think it's it's all about... No, it's really not about the, the money. The thought that counts. And but I do think it's so important to bring a gift to a hostess who's I having so. a party. I think so. I think I think it's a nice thing, and I think yeah. it's A picture frame, too. I always find oh, yeah. that when people bring me picture frames, I love that. Mm -hmm. Never enough silver picture frames. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, and you've got a lot of great places to put them in here. I know. <laughs> It's a great house for picture frames. It is. <laughs> it is. So, Luann, thank you so much for being with me today. This is Pamela Morgan for Flirting with Flavors, wishing you beautiful, entertaining. And don't forget, Luann has a new clothing line on evine.com. And also don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. Why can I never forget that? <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> I never can remember. Okay. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, flirtingwithflavors.com. Goodbye for now. <laughs>